All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some Legacy today. I haven't played Legacy on stream in a long time. And uh, we're playing a deck that is a hoot and a holler. This deck looks freaking awesome. I must ask you a question. Eh? No? So, um, this is a, a Legacy Legends deck. Um, ba based around Rog, 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 Son of Rog. Zero mana for an 0-1 First Strike Menace Trample. It's a commander card. Uh, it's Ornithopter on steroids. And, um, zero mana, zero power. But, pretty good with equipment. Right? So, also really good with Mox Amber. So, this costs zero. So, it allows Mox Amber to play a two drop on turn one, which is awesome. This is a Mox Amber, Mox Opal, Legend, Equipment, Shenanigans deck. Four Stone, Forge Mystic, Four Thalia. So, we've got, we do have some good cards in our deck. Um, we're also playing four copies of Goblin Engineer, which is like another another Stone Forge kind of. One, two. Search library for an artifact, put it in the graveyard. Then you can swap an artifact in play for your artifact you put in the graveyard. So, go get your Batter Skull. Then swap it for a uh, great furnace. Shake my head. What are you talking about? I don't shake my head. I got, what are you talking about? So we got Goblin Engineer. So these uh, these cards find our equipments. We have a uh, couple kind of stinky creatures to turn on our legend stuff. We got Zergo Bell Striker, and Isamaru, and Kithian. And then we got um, Fervent Champion. Not a legend, but. It does allow you to equip things for very, very cheap, which is kind of cool. So we can equip our equipment for, for cheap. We got Sword of Feast and Famine. We got Sword of Fire and Ice. We got Batter Skull, which is much bigger than the usual Stoneforge package. We also have Umazawa's Jite, obviously. We've got Smuggler's Copter. That's not a equipment, but you can get it with the Engineer. Vrexian Revoker, same thing. Then we have Hero's Blade. Hero's Blade is a two-mana equipment. Equips for four. Equip creature gets plus three, plus two. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, you can attach Hero's Blade to it. So, play the blade, then play Kithian. Now you got a 5-3, uh, which is pretty cool. So, also got a Power S Mantle, other equipment here to make our, our mana. We're playing 12 lands and 8 moxes, which is kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. And uh, this deck just, just, just looks like an a, a masterpiece. Just a, a masterpiece of design. Uh, this deck was built by MM underscore 17, or at least played by. MM underscore 17 to a 5 0 finish in a league. I'm pumped. You should be too. Cyborg's got some Skyclaves. Um, we get to play some cool artifacts because, again, the Goblin Engineer allows us to tutor artifacts. We can go find uh, Canonist against some decks. We can go find Grafdigger's Cage. Winter Orb seems phenomenal in our All Mox deck, which is pretty cool. Then we got uh, some Paths, some Surgicals, Pyroblasts. Rose Toast, thanks to Risa. Appreciate that. And um, that's the deck. Two Caracas, two Sun Bay Canyon, eight artifact lands. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm ready to roll. I'm pumped. You should be too. In the Legacy queue. How's the Legacy queue looking? How many players we got in here? I uh, can't even see. I don't know. We're just going to go. We're going to do it. That's not bad. 600. It's not bad at all. So let's jump in. But first, quick word from our sponsor. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Let's go. I haven't played Legacy in a long time. I guess I've played some goblins, but... Alright, so our hand is not great. We have two moxes, which is awesome. But... We don't have anything to do with the Moxes. We've got two bad one drops. So we're going to mulligan this hand. Uh, if we had a Stone Forge, one of our big cards, great. But this is just a lot of mana and, and just nothing else. So we're going to mulligan. This is better. Um, it's not great, but I guess we're going to keep. Keep and ship a land. We we have the double Fervent Champion draw. It's uh, been so oppressive in, 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 uh, in Standard, you know? All right, so not the most exciting hand, but once upon a time, holy crap, is the format of this card still legal? Wow. I uh, didn't know that. <laughs> I guess most of these dumb cards are legal in, in, uh, in Legacy, right? Oko's legal. Elvish Visionary. Okay. Uh, elves. Forest. 
Z in four, zero. The cheating Dryad Arbor. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, okay. So we want to play Stoneforge next turn, so we'll just play the drum. Let's say go. I'm a little, little worried about uh, some stuff here. I'm a little worried about some things. Oh, they have Glimpse. Get the old guitar out. Play a little, uh, some songs. All right, I haven't played Legacy in a while. This is great. Oh my God. My guitars are in such bad shape. Oh, we got a turn. We're still alive. All right, so we're definitely dead next turn though. Um, maybe we just concede. Not showing more of our deck. Like, there's no way we don't lose next turn. They have like a 15 mana and six cards in hand, and they have Symbiote and Elder Visionary. I'm just gonna scoop. I'm just gonna scoop. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show any more cards. They might think we're playing like Affinity or something like that, but all right. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna ship that and uh, try for game two here. We're gonna board in. Containment Priest that stops Natural Order and Zenith and stuff like that. We're going to bring in... I mean, Path like isn't even good. Cage turns off Natural Order and... No, yeah, it turns off Natural Order and uh, Zenith, I guess. Which is fine. Canonist seems fine. Skyclave seems okay. Mindbreak Trap is like... It's alright. It's not like great. It can be okay, but usually only when things run bad. Now we're playing Legacy. What's up, Canes? Thalia's pretty bad. Let me just dump all the Thalias. And then... We're really heavy in on, like, Jitae. Really want to have a good Jitae draw. That would be really what we're looking at. Um, maybe, like, just cut Batter Skull. Which, like, the life doesn't actually matter at all. They have ways to block and bounce anyway. It's just, like, not ever going to be good, I don't think. Yeah. Let's try this. If Path was Swords, I would bring it in. But, all right, so going first. This hand's got Land, Amber... Copter. I mean, this hand feels good in modern. I don't know how good it is in this matchup. I guess we're going to keep. We can't, we can't log in this hand. So keep this. We're going to dump most of our hand in play. So we need to draw one of our stone forges or good equipments or something like that. Uh, we're going to go land, drum, or no, land, legend, mox, drum, legend. Probably keep fervent champions. If we find the GTA, we can equip it for free. So. I would say that Zergo is probably the bad card here. Update deck list? I'll, yeah, in a moment, yes. So we're going to play... Kithian. Tap for white, play drum. Tap for red. And play Fervent Champion. We're going to keep a Zergo in our hand to discard to, actually we can't play it anyway, but it's gonna be our discard for Copter, try and find one of our good cards. Good cards. Waka waka. Oh boy. Feels like a tough one. Like don't have much removal or ways to interact with them. Wirewood Symbiote. That's not a bad turn one for us. Doctor, reset. Thanks so much. Jim's grown a beard. How long has been gone? Uh, okay. Um, so we just like swing and play Copter here and play Rocker Wrath or Rock and Rock Rock and Roller Coaster here. Um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. 
Where should I? I could dash and like flip Kithian, but like I don't think that actually matters at all. And then I'm not playing Copter. Wrong to play Amber before the Legend. Yeah, probably. Sure. I didn't play around Force of Vigor. You're correct. Uh, yeah. So we'll just jam. I suppose there's a chance that they uh block trying to try out the mocks. We have the first thing anyway, so. All right, let's take a take a bop. We're gonna play Smuggler's Copter. Do we play Rock and Rock and Roller Coaster here? Um, or I guess like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. We're we're gonna hold the Zergo because I think we want to have it a good card to discard for Copter. So playing Wasteland is pretty interesting. Yeah, but not playing Wasteland is kind of a, a stretch a little bit. Dry Arbor. Their hand's really slow, so there is that. Uh, that their hand is really, really slow. They can, they have a lot of blocks here though. They can block and bounce stuff. So let's draw something good. Goblin Engineer is kind of nice. Doesn't actually help us though, because we can't use the card till next turn. So let's fire up the, the copter. Um, yeah, fire up the copter with Kithian and see what we draw. We, and we'll send in the per, the Fervent Champion and the... Yeah, because we're not going to attack with the Kithian, I don't think. We could play the Engineer first and then crew with that, but I'd rather like have a chance to draw something more exciting. So let's crew. Rock and Roller Coaster driving Trample here is pretty big, so... Mox Opal. Um, I think that's just better than Zergo is, honestly. Because we can also draw a card up Canyon, too, so. This deck is a pile. This deck is a pile. I like it. I like it. Alright, so we're going to get. Um, What are we gonna get? Oops. Auto tapper, where art thou? We can get like a, a cannonist or something too, honestly. But that means we're like just relying on copter to win the game. It's probably just GTA, right? Just get GTA and put it on the copter. We get like a sword, it doesn't really do much. Yeah, it's definitely just GTA, I think. All right, and say up. I love Smuggler's Copter. This card's really good. It makes me sad. This card's like just not good enough for Modern and Legacy, but too good for Pioneer and stuff. Heritage Druid. I only have two Elves in play. Up, oh, there's a Cradle. We're dead. They natural order for Crater Huff here. Are we dead? I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna F6 again. Shall I wanna draw a car of Canyon? Probably. <laughs> Your print copter with a blue red mana cost. Makes it more interesting, that's for sure. Natural order. This is Crater Hoof, my dead. I think so. It's plus five plus five. Untap query and ranger. Yeah, probably just dead. It's like a bad matchup. Sure, bounce that, whatever. So this is uh six twelve. Yeah, we're just super super dead. We just like don't have any removal, so like their goal they goldfish on turn three basically every game, and we just like can't really match that. So alright, they got us. They got us. That's okay. That's okay. We're legends. We ain't scared of that. One more turn. You know, one more turn for GTA to get online. One more turn. One more turn. 
on the play. Oh my god. That is a hand of magic cards. Let me tell you. I already got a few sample hands, I think, from this one. A few hand of the weeks. This is a... Uh, that's a hand. All right, so we're going to mulligan this hand. Um... <laughs> Oh, it got better. Um, okay. Hand of the week number two. If this is a if this is a mox amber, this hand's actually keepable. We could just go like rock and roller coaster, mox, zergo go, go. Alright. Going to five. And uh Sure, I guess. Ship Zergo and The Mox Opal is pretty far from being on, unfortunately, but I think we still got to keep it. Draw an Artifact Land, be cool. It's like did 5 0 League, so it's not a total meme, you know? Supposedly, as I've been told. Kithian, Savannah Lions is here. Get ready to play some Legacy. Gemstone Mine? That's probably bad for us. Duress. Well, I guess I'm an idiot. Um, figured not revealing Mox Opal was, was a thing, but... Thought like it was doing much anyway. So, Lotus Petal. Okay. Go on. Tell me more. Nothing else. Oh boy. Schemer says, as an avid legacy player, this deck 5 0 must have been a fluke. Dark Depths? And I haven't played legacy in a while. Yeah, alright, I guess he got us. Alright, sorry, we, we do have two Karakas in our deck. To Caracas, Caracas, come on down! You're gonna test it on, please win me this game. Okay. Uh we uh want Path to Exile, I guess. Batter Skull again seems absolutely terrible. And we can cut like Copter, maybe? Just seems pretty mopey. Skyclave, don't do nothing. Winter Orb, Surgical, yeah. We did take Rockets in our deck, so that's something. That is something. This deck won't beat Snowco in a million years. I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it so that doesn't kill me on turn two, honestly, you know? <laughs> Crack the land for a redraw. Looking for... Oh, you're right, I could have, yeah. You're right. I'm just... Tilted. Totally correct. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Had one more draw at two outs. You are correct. You're all right. When you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Hello. Hello. Opponent's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. What the hell's going on? Hero's Blade is what's going on. Hero's Blade is what's going on. Rock and Roller Coaster. Jeez, opponent, let's go. Let's go. Take more time to cyborg than to win the game. All right. On the play. Uh, this hand is better. This hand is a lot better. We have an extraneous mox. We have a sword and mana and a thalia. So we're going to keep... And a crocus. So we're going to keep this hand. All 
All right, so Mox. Mox. Caracas. Drum. That's it. That's all we got for this turn, I guess. Next turn, we can go Thalia off of Mox Opal Caracas. And if we draw a land. Actually, we use, use, use Mox to cast Sword of Peace and Famine. Get that going. Yeah, we need our Moxie to compete, you know? The old Caracas. The old Caracas. Caracas. Hmm. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow that, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on formats. I haven't played Legacy in a long time. Want to see more Legacy? Force of Vigor. That's a fun card. <laughs> That's why I cast Thalia. Oh, you're right. Thoughtsies. Can you play older formats? It's not been very fun so far. I'm not going to lie. Uh... Is that beat of Thoughtseize? Yeah, I don't think Thoughtseize is good against us. Like, I don't know if, don't know if we can beat the card Force of Vigor, uh, but... Alright, you're up. Turn 1 Thalia does seem pretty good. As Loxobots can attest to. Sylvan's crying. Sure. You get a Wasteland and blow me out. Nope, get a Dark Depths. Okay. Okay. Sunbaked Canyon. I see. I see. Um, we're probably drawing a card. Dark Depths, sure. Inquisition. I mean, that's pretty annoying, but sure. Sylvan Scrying. Okay. So they get Wasteland and then just beat us. Despian Stage. No. What's their plan for this Caracas? It's been fun brewing. It seems pretty hostile to brewing, honestly. Fervent champion, let's go. Um, I can play sword. I just play jam a sword. They run not of this world. Can't play around it. You know, like what am I gonna do? Jam a stuff. They have everything. They got everything. Thought sees me. No, fervent champion. Fervent champion. No. It's kind of pumped actually to, to get this uh, this sword of peace and famine going. And okay, path things out. Sure. The old swamp furnace. End step. Black black. Uh. Okay. So they have. Not of this world, I guess. Pretty sick we drew the Path Exile, then I suppose. Um, they play a basic. Shall I cast the Path Exile first? No, I then those let it resolve, so. Bounce that. So Bingo. lucky! Bingo! Alright! Not of this world, seven mana, tribal Eldrazi instant. Counter target spell or ability if it targets a permanent you control. It costs seven less to cast if you control a creature. Oh, I'm sorry. It costs seven less to cast if it targets a creature you control, power seven or greater. So, uh, got him. Now, just gotta draw a creature. And they got no basics either. So they got one card left. They are very far from calming. We should draw a creature here. We should draw a creature. That is not a creature. That is not a creature. We want to draw a rock and roller coaster here. 
The juke bug. The bug. Really bogging me down. Creature! Man, there are so many bad creatures in our deck, too. Croc is kind of cool in our deck, too. You can bounce our own legends, protect them. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. All right, here it comes. This is it. The turn. Revoker. That's a creature. Um, all right, let's play Revoker. Name Thespian Stage, probably. Uh, I can't name Lance. Uh, never mind. Um, we're going to name Sylvan Safekeeper. Uh, Hexmage, duh, right. Correct. You are correct. I forgot. It's been a while. Petal doesn't matter, I don't think. Definitely Hexmage. That's why I keep chat around, you know? Y'all help me out a little bit. Y'all help me out a little bit. Elvish Reclaimer? I don't know what that is. Mana Confluence? Sure. I mean, now we're all, like, queued up for a little sword action, right? Isamaru, Hound of Conda? Yeah, sure. Yeah, ain't nothing but a hound dog. Quip? I should have the furnace, whatever. Are we gonna win here? Are we gonna win? Thanks to that sick Path to Exile draw? It's looking good, folks. It's looking good. They're gonna discard a Lotus Petal. They're gonna say go. Yeah. They're dead in two turns. We have double Caracas. Oh! Game. Blouses. Woo! All right. Um. More of that, please. More of that. Just draw our Caracas. Draw our two Caracas, two Path to Exile. May gain life. I guess Batter Skull gains life. I guess GTA does too. As far as like not dying to one single hit of a thing. What's what's up one one M R L E E? How's it going, my friend? Okay, land, mox, mantle, thalia. This is a pretty good hand, right? We have turn one thalia. We keep this. We also have a possible fast GT, I guess. What a skyclave hit! Like it doesn't hit the uh, token. All right, well, that's kind of bad. Probably take Thalia, I guess? Thalia's, like, good. It's not amazing against them. They can just go Hex Mage, Dark Depths the next turn and just beat us, but... Hits Hex Mage and Needle. I mean, like, Hex Mage is unlikely to matter. You know, like, if their Hex Mage isn't making a 2020, then, like, whatever, you know? But they are in the tank. They are tanking it up here. Hello, opponent. Taking the Mox Amber. Wow. All right. Let's just draw Mox Amber or Mox Opal. Lotus Petal. Oh, God. Okay. No. All right. So, Ancient Den, Paradise Mantle, Rock and Roller Coaster, and Equip, I guess? Kind of seem better, but sure. Not ideal. It's, you know, a little Bird's Paradise action. Definitely undone there by that thought season a little bit. Turn 1 Thalia, no longer a thing. Who thinks, or I should say, Keeper Mulligan? The artifact land should be unbanned in modern. Keeper Mulligan. 
Sylvan's crying. Okay. Keeper Mulligan. The artifact lands should be unbanned in modern. Or on YouTube. Let me, let me know in the comments. Dark Depths is here. Thalia might be past the point of mattering. That wasn't a bad draw. So now we can, like... With Fervent Champion, we can definitely get a good Stoneforge off. Um, I guess we're scared of just, like, them having it next turn. We can't, like, stop it in any way. So, like... Probably just Thalia. I don't know what equipment we're getting that like really, really helps us. I guess like a GTA we gain some life and stuff. We could Stoneforge. We still don't have mana to actually do anything relevant, so. I'm in favor of unbanning the artifact lens. I'm in favor. No KCI, no Mox Opal. There's Dark Depths. There's X Mage. And we're just dead. Duress. Oh, they got it all. The Retro Arena look. Yes, this is the Arena update. Sylvan Safekeeper? So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Great. Rock and Roller Coaster. Uh, Alright, so, I mean, we're just jamming here and then playing Stoneforge. Hoping you GTA next turn. A little Sylvan Safekeeper action. I think it's GTA. This can gain us life. So we can go above 20, take, take a hit from a Dark Depths token. It can also kill a Safekeeper. Black in the pool. Black in the pool. Pithing Needle. Rude. Rude. What's up, Meg? So that name's Jite. It's no longer playing Jite. What's up, Boz? Resub, thanks so much. Always knew you'd look good with facial hair. Could I have playing Jite? It costs three because of Thalia. You miss Wet Living and it's over. That's from before. It'll be, up, it'll, be, it'll be up on YouTube, though. Untap. Sure. Can I, like... Nah, it's still an equipment ability. Alright. Second Thalia. Um, we can, no. So, we can play another Stoneforge, make a mana with Rock and Roller Coaster, move it to Fervent Champ and make another mana, but, like, we can't actually cast anything. We could put it in off Stoneforge, but we can't actually do anything with it. So, not quite there yet. They have one card in hand. Or 12? Batter Skull is not in the deck anymore. I, cut, I took it out. Um, Feast and Famine. I mean, sort of Fire and Ice, I just block it with the Sylvan Scape Safekeeper for a turn. Feast and Famine does, like, I guess, make for a lethal attack. Let's get Feast and Famine. We should just attack here, though. We shouldn't bother casting this. We can just do it next turn. We'll just attack for, for a 4. I shouldn't have played that. I should have, I should have, I should attack first, but yeah, just get in and then next turn we can put in the sword off of the Stoneforge, free equip to the Fervent Champion and get in for five, make them discard a card. And that should be it, honestly. 
Unless they have, like, crop rotation in their hand or something like that. Um, nope. Cool, cool, cool. Saying go. Saying go. Okay. They could, in theory, like, crop rotate for a stage and then in combat make a 2020, but we can't beat that or play around it, so whatever. We're going to uh, put in our sword and free equip the Fervent Champion and uh, see what we can do here. Legacy staple, Zergo, Bell Striker. We did it! We won! Let's go! One and one! LOL LOL Legends. LOL Legends. How do you pronounce that? LOL Legends. Like LOL Legends. LOL 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 Legends. <laughs> huh? How do you pronounce that? Let's go. One and one. Never seen Depth stumble that hard before. Too bad. They're dead. LOL Jins. All right, let's go. Uh, oh boy, that hand's bad. Uh, if we knew where they're playing Dark Depths, we would keep this, I guess. But this is a, I guess, it's a turn one Smuggler Scopter. We can show any creatures though. God. Arena looks like I got a make under. Yep. 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 There's no more unifying force as a Magic player than making fun of Magic Online. Oh my God. Come on. All right, this is better. Uh, we just ditch Mantle and Opal. <laughs> it's honestly a pretty bad hand. We don't actually have anything that like does anything, you know, but. Opponent, opponent's on six. So we're gonna get rid of Paradise, Mantle, and Mox Opal. You draw a payoff here, you know? This deck needs some freaking venerated locks on. That's, that's, that's what this deck needs. This like needs some venerated loxodons. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My chips are on the table. My cards are face up. I am here. Flagstones of Trocare? This is a modern deck? Two Savannah Lions? This card's better than Savannah Lions. Alright, it's 2-2. Two -two, not a 2-1. Oh, God. Right. Well, uh, I would say that Spring Leaf Drum is probably not uh, the payoff we're looking for. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Green White Titan in Legacy? I mean, I guess, if you say so. Taiga Flagstones. Sylvan Library. We can beat this. We can beat this. We can beat this. Payoff. Pay me off, big time. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. So close. So close. Let's go. We did play four power on turn one, all right? I'm just saying, it's like not the worst, you know? Zorgo Bell Striker, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Little dash action, flip the old Gideon Battle Forged. Let's see how much life they pay for uh for Sylvan Library. Zero <laughs> Bingo. All right. All right, I mean we got Pro Green. Pro Green. We did mulligan a five, folks. So with those two extra cards, we'd have some other things to do. Like if this if this is our our seven card opening hand, we would have hit him with sword last turn. You know? So Maze of Ith, what a jerk. What a jerk. Maze of Ith against my freaking equipment deck. I cannot believe the nerve of these people. Cannot believe the nerve of these people. Damn you people, go back to your shanties. 
Alright, well. So we got. So we got. There are ten. They have stunted by attack with the Maze of Myth. The cost of a single land drop, they have stunted by attack. Now we need to draw another equipment. Yeah, I guess he was like wanting Wasteland. What? Come on. Life from alone for nothing? Oh, God. Someone buy me a Wasteland, please. It's classic lands. Oh, man. Phyrexian Revoker. Oh, that's, that'll do it. Oh, never mind. It's non land. God damn it. Who printed this card? That would have been so good. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Um, I was so happy, too. I thought that was the perfect draw. So we're going to, I guess, play Revoker and name... Is there a, I guess, like, Tranquil Thicket or something? Is there, is that, that's also, that's a, that is also a land, Jim. That is also a land. Waka, waka. Elvish Reclaimer. It makes sense. I, they can have Ren 6, actually. Does that, does that play Ren 6? Ren 6 is real good against us. Oh, Ren's banned? My bad. I haven't played Legacy in a while. All right, you're up. Ren and six is banned. You can't play that card. Can't play that kind of card around here. So why it's still legal and modern? Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Basic planes. Skyclave apparition. This is this is this is actually torture. This is actually torture. We can't beat such reckless, reckless lands. All right, so untap. Play that. Play that. <laughs> Rock and roller coaster. All right, so we're gonna play. Uh, little sword here, I guess. Oh, man. Memmite Shyamalan says, The funny thing is, the price of Tabernacle spiked after a single tournament when the deck got played. People playing the deck made more money from the price increase of, of Tabernacle than they did in tournament prize money. Yeah, well, a reserve list is pretty stupid. They're in a block? All right. So they don't, they're not interested in paying for uh, paying for the tax. Paying taxes is kind of lame. And now we have a rock and roller coaster, and um, we can spread out our damage a little bit, I suppose. What's up, horse? Sylvan Library. I just our hand was good this game, you know? Their hand was pretty bad, all things considered. Despian stage, cool. <laughs> Another Skyclave, cool. Is this like normal? Skyclave apparition lands? No! It took Rock and Roller Coaster, and now if, if it dies, I get a 0-0. Zero, zero. That's, that's a real jerk move. Alright, so... I should have paid for the one one, honestly. Oh, Zergo. Zergo Bell Striker. I'm gonna put the equipment on the illusion. So you have two lethal attackers and attack again. I'll probably block the Skyclave on the Revoker, which is fine, I guess.
We can't actually complain about a white card. All right, folks. I mean, this is the first good white card printed in like seven years. All right. What was the last good one? Gideon Eyes in the car, probably. I guess Elspeth Conquer's death is pretty good. Yep, that's a block. Maze of Ith is taking us to Brown Town. Just keep getting lost. Just keep getting lost. Come on, but Tabernacle, sure. This card's dumb. They can just stage their Maze of Ith, too. Field of the Dead. All right, they just loam Field of the Dead. All right, we're dead. So they're going to loam back Bajugabog stage Field of the Dead. I don't want to play anymore. You win. You win. Can't beat Field of the Dead plus Maze of Ith plus Tabernacle. All right, so we'll just go a little faster this game. That's going to be what we're going to try and do here. Um, we're going to want Winter Orb. Probably Skyclave. I'm not sure they have like Exploration and stuff. Um, surgical for loam. And... That's probably it. And then... Don't think we want Cage. It doesn't actually do anything. Like, Cage doesn't, doesn't stop Loam in any way. So... And then we're going to cut... I mean, Exploration is like, like the key card in their deck, right? Um, we cut. I mean, like, Thalia is, like, pretty good, I guess. Alwyn Engineer, Zergo... We do not see Punishing Fire now. Probably can't beat that card, realistically. Revoker seems bad. Batter Skull seems bad again. Gaining life is just so irrelevant. Um, there's too many good cards here, I don't know what to cut. Um, I could cut a Rocket Roller Coaster. It's pretty bad against Skyclave. And uh, it's bad at multiples. Kind of got Zergo, I guess. Just, like, shaved down some legends. And... Maybe we cut a Thalia. I guess Thalia's really good, though. Cut the Paradise Mantle. I mean... I don't think it's Mantle. We do want Skyclave, right? Maybe we don't want Skyclave. Cut a Gideon? I guess that's fine. Sure. Let's try this. Let's try this. Give it a spin. The old college try. Okay. Um, I mean, no red, but decent hand. Stoneforge is getting... I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm just saying... Uh, hasn't put enough pressure. I mean, like... What are we going to do, you know? Like... Waterlog Grove. Boo! My Skyclave Apparitions, idiot. Oh my god. Oh, this is like the nuts. They have, they have Loam, too. They have Wasteland. Oh my god, they have Loam, too. Don't have Loam, too. If they have Loam, too, we're just dead. No. Okay. Dahlia is pretty nice, I guess. All right, so now I guess we're playing Thalia and we're not playing Snowboard Mystic. I don't know what we're stone forging for, honestly. We can't play and equip something next turn because we don't have mana, so just play Thalia. The old Thalia Caracas combo. Bounce our own stuff. They try and kill it. Up, oh, they have Dark Depths and Wasteland. Never mind, they have everything. They have the Wasteland for our Caracas and the Dark Depths for Thespian Stage. I 
Legacy's fun. Play Legacy, they said. It'd be fun, they said. All right, we're good. <sighs> okay. Um, that one seems a little tough. It seems a little tough. I'm not really having fun playing Legacy, honestly. I'm not going to lie. I've played Legacy in a long time, but it just, like, doesn't seem very fun. Like, it's pretty hard to, like, play a fun brew in Legacy. Like, everything's just so unbelievably powerful. This thing is pretty sweet. Play a good deck and have fun. I've played tons of Legacy in my life. It's just, like, not... I don't know. It's just, like... There's just so many formats right now that, like... There's Legacy, and then Modern, and Historic, and Pioneer, and Standard, and Draft, and, you know, and Cube. And there's just, just so many formats, some of them just gotta go, you know? If this deck played Venerated, locks it on. Then, yeah, I'd, I'd be all about it. This deck 5 to League. Yes, this is a 5-0 deck from a League. Is Pioneer still a format? All right. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're gonna, we're gonna really piss off, like, the five Pioneer... Uh, Pioneer stalwarts in uh, in chat and in YouTube, but uh, yeah, not really. I see Mangucci's Forsaken Monument deck. I have not. I have not. What are these hands? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah. Alrighty then. Are we in the draw? Uh, we are on the draw, but we are not keeping this hand. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Engineer's a cool card. Mulligan. Uh, this hand's actually pretty fine. Um, we're like one mana off a Cupping Sword on turn two. Or no, we're... Or, no, we can do this too. Yeah, this, this, this actually pretty good. This hand's actually kind of a nut. More hand of the week action. Keep this. Ship Mox. Pawn is also on six cards. Underground Sea, Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal. My guitar is in my lap if they want to storm kill me. Doomsday. That's fun. Nerd! So Doomsday, look at the top five library for five cards. So basically you make your you make your deck five cards that you want, but it's only five cards. They should win next turn, I guess. This deck needs mana tight. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no fear Shakespeare here. Could have Force of Will or something, they would just lose, but whatever. You know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. This is how I feel. How could this happen to me? I mean... All right. So they have Doomsday. And, uh... Lose half your life. Sure. Sure. Uh... Wow. Is that turn one Thalia? That actually might be the nut. Um, turn one Thalia probably wins the game for us. There's no way they were planning for turn one Thalia, right? Boom! Get off my plane. Days? What? Doomsday plays days? No, they don't. Get out of here. Get, get, get. Get off my plane. No way. 
No freaking way. I. This is someone. This is. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Doomsday plays Force of Will and Days. They just, they, they just basically win turn one with days back up? This format's stupid. Ideas unbound, draw your deck, play play the stupid thingy. Alright, you win, I guess. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. Alright, uh, so let's bring in our Mind Break Traps. And Deafening Silence. And... I mean, Pyroblast, like... Does something, I guess. Canonist. Cut Batter Skull. Copter. Evoker can name LED. Um, and just like shave some of the. Honestly, Galvan Engineer seems, 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 seems kind of bad. Just seems really, really slow. Let's shave like one rock and. Maybe you actually want rock and roller coaster. You just really want to have a. Have a, a fast thing surgical shuffles i i mean like yeah it does but they'll still like mostly win i don't know yeah i don't, I don't like they'll still eventually win you know i mean, we're, we're gonna do this it's a pretty decent amount of cards to bring in so like we could also just turn one thalia them you know like that would be cool uh, that is not turn one Thalia. That's not even a playable card. Ugh. Okay, this sounds good. Uh, it's missing a piece. We have, we, have, we, have, we have a trap, so we're going to keep this. Y'all walking into a trap. Um, Hero's Blade is going to go. We have Thalia and Canonist, which is pretty nice. We need to draw a land or a mana source, but we got trapped too. What are we going to do? Bees in the trap. Bees, bees in the trap. Mana Tithe does seem pretty bad. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Mana Tithe and all, but... Yeah, Lotus Petal. They have a duress too. Great. <sighs> Rock and roller coaster. Brainstorm. All the best white cards in our hand here. All the best white cards. Manatai is also pretty bad with Thalia. It turns it into the worst mana leak of all time. Brainstorm, yep, 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 yep. Fetch land, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ponder, mm-hmm, Go on. Up, oh, Dark Ritual, oh, this is fun. This is a good old time. I'm playing guitar in so long. I gotta get my guitars fixed, get my amps fixed. Hey, my guitar's in the wall. It's not even like a fun combo I can just play, play guitar through. They're just like, can you kill me next turn with the Oracle? Blah, blah, blah. 
I assume they can beat this Thalia. I mean, or Canonist, right? Like, they wouldn't have done this if they couldn't. It'll screw up, right? It's pretty hard to play. Doomsday, half your life. Uh, okay. Look at their exile cards. I mean, they've got cards here. The Ideas Unbound is in the exile. Does that matter? They have, a, they have nausea in their deck? Alright, so... um. Stoneforge Mystic again. All right, so we're just like, we're not trying to win anymore. We're just trying to see if they lose or not. Do they have a daze? I'll see if they have days. I mean, I can't play around. All right, they have days too. Just literally have a Stone Cold Nuts two games in a row. All right, yeah, you win. Whatever, you win. So I'll play some guitar here. That's all I got. That's all I know. TOS, DMCA. You can't play songs? Like, play songs? You do lessons? Eh, I don't even need lessons. I, I, I mean, I, I've played in bands, so I should, like, you know, actually play a little more. Why I draw perfect? I mean, like, Arnak is pretty bad, you know. Edge of Autumn? Cool. Fast as Oracle with two cards in deck? That's it. All right, we lost. We lost. Um, all right, let's finish strong here. This has been much less fun than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I don't have a playing legacy anymore. <laughs> it doesn't seem fun. Like, I'll buy goblins once in a while, I guess, but I don't know. This deck looks really, really fun, but, like, there's just, like, so little room for error in legacy. Like, every deck just kills you on turn two. <laughs> like, it's like, all right, you know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I guess when your deck live opens, I'm sure people will force you to play legacy, but... I used to love Legacy, too, but, like, I don't know. It's like, I guess it's, like, not a tournament format anymore. So, like, you know, I've played, like, a million Legacy Opens and stuff like that. And, uh, so, like, when I actually, like, really care and stuff and trying to play, you know, serious decks and so on and so forth. As far as, like, streaming and playing fun decks, it doesn't seem like a very fun format. <laughs> like, like, in Historic or Standard or even Modern, like, even bad decks can still win, like, you know, a decent amount of a time. You can still, like, you know, do stuff, but... Technically, if they came into a live stream and heard me playing copyright music, they can DC. <laughs> Come get me for my horrible rendition of Metallica's one. Come get me, Lars Ulrich. You took down Napster. Now you gotta take down me. All right? All right? Come get me, Lars Ulrich. Come and get me, you're a bastard. Come on, matches, let's go. My poor guitar. My poor guitar. Needs to be set up and tuned and new strings. Challenge Lars, the next Mog Monday challenge. Bring it on, let's go. Lars Ulrich. Uh, we're on the draw. We can keep this. It's fine. We can keep this. Ponder, yeah. Let's play with ourselves a little bit here. Lars is the goblin. <laughs> Bring it on, Lars. Fair deck. Uh, this is, Island is probably not a fair deck, right? I guess it could be. I don't know. Usually, when I was playing uh, Legacy, basic Island meant show and tell, but obviously there's like, you know, things have changed. Back in, back in my day. All right, so we get to uh, just play... Kithian, I guess. P 
Poonder. Poonder. A lot of dead air in Legacy, too. A lot of pondering, a lot of brainstorming, a lot of figuring out if you can combo kill or not, you know? I gotta hope they're playing Storm. I just play guitar while they go off for a little bit. That'd be fun. Baleful Strix. We got a fair deck, folks. We got a fair deck. It's possible we can beat a fair deck here? I don't know. Another Kithian? Sure. Um, so we can, like, Hero's Blade... Isamaru. I probably want to just attack the Kithian, honestly. Yeah. Just trade it off. Dead of Winter? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good against us. Baleful Strix. It's a magic card. That is a magic card. Alright, so we're gonna go take two. Play our first ever Hero's Blade. Refresher. Two mana equipment. Plus three, plus two. Whenever a legendary creature comes into play, equip for free. And we'll give the old Kithy and the Blade. Hand Kithy and the Blade. What do we get here? We get a freaking 5 3 creature. Broken. Broken. Legend used to be a creature type back in the day. I can recall when I was a wee lass uh, playing Apprentice. That was like the. Before Magic Online. Eating myself. K command. What? Come on. Get off my plane. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? Um. All right. So um. Yeah. Apprentice. Before Magic Online, and there was a format called Tribal Wars, where your deck had to be like thirty creatures of the same type, and Legend was a creature type. I built. I built a cool Legend deck. So I was building Legend decks back then too. You know. All right, so I don't know how you ever beat K-Command. Like, can you imagine a better card against us? I can't. We're going to get, I guess, like a sword. They have five cards in their hand. Oh, my God. So we've been two for one twice already. I guess the the Fervent Champion could, like, sneakily get in. Let's get, let's get Sword of sort of Fire nice. And maybe we can, like, sneak in the Fervent Champion next turn and, like, get in for a surprise attack they weren't ready for. Why would you cheer for Swamp him? Why would you do that, Ludwig? Why would you curse us to that, that fate? Scales? I don't know. I don't know scales. I'm an untrained guitarist. Untrained. All right, so they have three mana up, and we can swap out for the sword, but they'll probably just kill our shit. Um, Alice in Chains? Sure. I'll play, I'll play that next. Um, this guitar is a, uh, a Gibson. My mustache is over the guitar. All right, so we're going to... Um, I mean, there's just like no way we ever hit them this turn, you know? We swap Paradise Mantle for a sword. It's like they, they have like literally can have everything in the whole world here. Um, wish we had like a a chromatic star or some way to like loop and draw cards with this thing. I'll just freaking go for it. Whatever. What, 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 what are we doing here? Like for real. What are we doing? Give me sort of fire and ice back. Give me that. This is definitely going to work out great for us. Oh God. Cling to, cling to dust. What? What? Get off my plane. 
I can't take any more, folks. They're going to break me. They're going to break my spirit. They're going to break my spirit. How could this happen to me? You are getting bodied this league. Holy shnikes, yeah. Oh, they have drowned the lock, too. Cole. I haven't beat a Cole against a man with this deck. Alright. Uh, let's see what they do. I mean, is there a chance they don't have a... Uh, that they don't have a... Uh, a push or bolt here? Just kidding. Okay. Um, how did it stack 5 0? What on earth are the good matchups? I, I, I can't tell. I had no idea. I definitely had much higher hopes than this. I didn't expect this to 5 0, but I was hoping for the deck to be a little more functional and to not die on turn two every game. Or functionally die on turn. They're going to bounce my Fervent Champion with their Jace. They have him. No! <sighs> the old Jace bounce him. Force negation. All right. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. Keep your expectations low and you'll be happy. Yeah. I've heard that before. All right, so um, we're going to bring our Winter Orb, that's for sure. And I don't know how I beat Cole against Command, though. Like, realistically, I just don't know how we actually beat that card. Like, ever. In a million years. Um, let's cut, like, a drum, I guess. Just cut one of the non-actual cards. <sighs> uh, it's almost like I'm a Vikings fan. Eh? Bring an apparition for what? Hey, no, sorry, 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 everyone, sorry. I apologize. I apologize. <sighs> da, 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 da. This is what happened if they won. The Vikings did lose, but I actually have no idea. I just someone, someone complained about it before. Let's go back to my beard. I agree, like, there's, I don't know how this deck wins either. Like, with no wastelands, there's no disruption. Like, the the, the, the core idea of this deck is pretty cool. Um, I also, like, haven't drawn many functional hands either, but. Sure. Probably want to keep the extra Thalia, right? Because Thalia's, like, really good against them. Sure. Rock and roller coaster. Paradise mantle. Equip. The best birds of paradise of all time. Of all time. You son of a bitch. You. What? Why do they have Karagas in their Grixis deck? Every creature I have is a legend. <sighs> Didn't I bottom this card? What is going on? Uh, I don't know any sad songs on guitar. <laughs> Mox Amber, eh? All right, I'm done. I don't play anymore. All right, so this deck is is pretty terrible. Um, I I was really I, this deck's been in my save deck folder for like a while, and I was like really excited to play it. And this was actually hell. Um, we definitely mulliganed a lot, and the deck doesn't seem like great. The idea 
the idea of a deck does seem kind of cool, but like there's gotta be some disruption or something. You know, like give me some freaking wastelands. Give me just give me something. Give me tangle wire, honestly. Give me some freaking tangle wires. Give me something. You know, like our we're just letting our opponent run ramshackle all over us and our our goldfish isn't really that good either. We don't, we don't draw Thalia, we just don't interact at all, you know? So I don't know. Deck looks cool. Maybe play or work play, play, work on it more. Legacy does seem kind of lame. Um, if you want to see more Legacy, let me know. You know, um, but I don't know. YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube and you made it to the end of this video, I want you to post it in the the comments. So I can give you a high five. All right. Tangle Wire is the freaking shit. All right. Don't you don't you ever talk bad about Tangle Wire in this in this channel. All right. Ever, ever talk bad about Tangle Wire. Ever. Thanks for watching, folks. YouTube.